Hello, this is Daniel from Runloop, and in this video, I'm going to walk through the workout logger section of Heavyset. It's somewhat different to other workout applications, and it may not immediately be obvious what everything does. So, in this video, we're just going to run through everything and get familiar with how it works. Now, starting at the bottom, here we have our current exercise. If this exercise is part of a routine, we have some additional information, such as exercise A in this case, three sets, and five reps. Below this we have our current set. This is worked out based on the sets that we have logged and as we have logged no sets this is set number one. Next to that we have our weight and our reps. Now these have got some pre-filled values based on previous workouts or previous sets but we can change these simply by tapping on the field and entering a new value. The weight field we can easily switch from kilograms to pounds with a little swipe across. And finally, we can log our set by tapping the log set button. Above, we have the rest timer. Now, if we define a rest period within the routine, this will start automatically. We can start it manually by tapping on it, and we can stop it again by tapping on it. When following a routine, our exercise will automatically advance as we progress through the workout. However, we can change our exercise at any time by tapping on the exercise selection button. Here we can select a different exercise from our routine. We can select exercises that aren't in our routine or we can even add new exercises. We can also choose to skip exercises if we don't want the logger to return to these exercises as we progress through the workout. Above this section we have our workout history view. Now currently it's displaying our estimated one rep max over time. We can swap this to volume by tapping on the other side or if you are logging your um, body weight via Apple Health, we can also see our estimated one rep max over our body weight. We can scrub along the graph to see uh, the values of a particular day. And if we want to see the actual sets we perform this day, we can swipe up on the graph and this will reveal the exercise history down the bottom. So this has all our sets of all our workouts for the particular exercise. Tapping on the graph will reset that. As we've got this bottom panel open now we can swipe to the left and this will reveal our rep records for our current exercise and we can also swipe to the right and this will give us some more timer options. So here we can add time to the timer, we can re remove time from the timer or we can just set preset times. We can close this bottom panel by a swipe down on the graph. At the top, we have our settings icon. This will take us to the settings of the app where we can change during the workout. We have a plate calculator. We have a tempo timer. The tempo will either use a default value that's set in the settings, or you can assign tempos directly within routines and we have an edit button so if we have made a mistake within our workout we can go in and change change what we've added or we can add notes there are a few hidden gestures as well if we want to get directly to the time settings we can swipe up from the timer button and if we know we want to add notes to a particular set we can press and hold the set button and it will take us directly to the set editor. We can also do a long press on the tempo timer to get us to the tempo timer settings. So that's an overview of the workout log we're in heavy set. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below or post on Runloop forums, and we'll see you in the next video.